What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD Visually Blind. In this episode, we made it to where we thought the last pearl was, but it turns out we were wrong. It is not here, unfortunately. We don't know where it is. Well, we do know where it is. It's on a windfall island, or not windfall island, it's on outside islands, but we're told there's no point in going there since there's a cave that we can't get into. It's nice that we're actually told that. It's, it's great that they're not making us go all the way there and be like, Oh, you can't come here yet. You have to go to, to Outside Island. <laughs> or Windfall Island. I was getting mixed up between those two. <laughs> I was saying Windfall Island is my home and Outside Island is also my home. I don't know. I, it's weird because you're out Outside Island a lot more frequently than... Or, sorry, see, there you go. You're, you're out Windfall Island a lot more frequently in this game than um, Outside Islands. If you actually take a look around here, there's a peculiar cave up there. So the trees, anything else? Man, I really do love this island though. I wish we could have got the chance to see it before it got destroyed, but oh well. So, Jabon has survived. The sea spirit has lived through the trials of many long years. He must have caught wind of Ganon's attack beforehand. If you were to believe the worlds of the Rito Postman and the pirates, though something about the caves where Jabon hides. Why don't we go to Windfall and search for them there? Sounds like a fantastic idea. So, I guess we should, you know, I'll just go northeast. Yeah. Go ourselves some northeast. Um, I don't want to spend too much time exploring. Like, we did a lot, like, that's all we did last episode. We sailed and we explored. We'll probably do a bit of that, but there is only one island in between here. And holy crap, this place looks like it was bombed or some crap. Is there a message about not beetle? Why would beetle come here? Jeez. Ooh. Oh no, that is not the fish. That is not the fish I'm looking for. Well, there he is though. I missed it. Oh, it even like kind of came towards me a little bit. Uh, this fish can be really annoying sometimes. He's like, he's not far enough for me to want to change the wind direction, but he's. Too far away for it to make it, you know, too easy to get to him. All right, let's put more bait in our bag here. Should probably just, I should stop putting all my items on the same button so I, have to, so I don't have to stop or change them every two seconds. <laughs> all right. We got say, Holy small fry! Yeah, yeah. Information, C chart. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. We got for me. I just punched my pop filter. Oopie. You guys might have heard that. Holy, just leave even there. It looks actually it looks like a. Crazy muscly guy. <laughs> Looks like he has bulgy muscles. You should come around in these parts when nights are on nights where there's just a wee bit of left half moon is missing. Hmm. That's when it appears, Fry. So the info got to offer. We actually heard something like that before. I'm not gonna. Is that it right there? Oh no, that's just a spark. Holy crap, I, my eyes actually got a bulge on my head there for a second because I was actually kind of scared. <laughs> Because I'm a giant Ponzi. Ooh, I believe there's the islands northeast where yeah, it totally is. Um, we did miss that bottle, right? We did. Okay, oops. Man, it's too easy. That all the buttons are so weird in this game. I'm still not used to them, as you could very probably obviously tell. All right, glad I was able to get to that fish. All right, it's your night and day sensor Pokemon. Of course, it's right in the middle of the night, it's like midnight. What a forsaken day to sail these seas. Right. Ooh, actually, I think this is Tingle's Island coming up here. I'm sure Tingle would like to have us to visit him on this terrifying, scary night of death and doom and a bit of destruction. Not very much, thankfully. Holy crap, what? Sharks? Are you serious? Oh, these whirlwinds don't seem to come at you, bro. Oh, there's a message in a bottle over there. Like I said, I'm going to stop going toward those so often. Whoa! Most of those times, those sharks just actually just swim in front of you and don't do anything. But apparently not this time. This time, the deadly series this time. Oh, good job, shark. You try swimming me now. Hey, look, we got a message in a post office. And a message in a bottle. <laughs> I saw both of them on the screen at once. Oh, there's the fish over there. Let's keep that in mind. Good evening! Letters for Link, we have one letter. Here's your letter. You, I'm sick now. If you wish to be a true swordsman, find some knight's crest and return to me, Orca. Yay, a rupee I can't hold. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at what we have on uh, this island over here that we don't know. That we're gonna ignore that guy for now. 
The way to Northern Fairy Island is to the north. Increase your fortune. I'm actually going to make a, a separate video for these guys right here. These are blue chews. I believe there's only 23, I think, of them in the entire world. And you can only get the spoils from them once. If you get them once, that's it forever. <laughs> I think. I do believe you can find their spoils in chests sometimes, though. Including them over there being all electrocuted and stuff. Whoa, look at this, like, tiki totem thing. Actually, let's jump down here for a second. It just looks like some designs, and this next one, I don't know what the heck, those look like Pikmin or some crap, or frog statues. There's a Moblin next, which is a bit weird. There's fairies, yay, all together as one, and oh boy. Oh, what? Why is there a message up? What? Why? Huh? <laughs> Why is it up there? Okay, we're just gonna skip that one, because that's spoilerific. I might actually, like, blur that out a bit. Dragon Roots Cavern and Zelda Triangle Zolb? Oh, oh, okay. Um. Hey! Oh, uh, this is so heavy. This is between you and me. But this guy has another brother. That could, another brother. That guy could just spin this thing instead of me. Heave! Oh. <laughs> I think that's a reference to this guy, but they just never see each other because they're always on the opposite end. That's funny. That is funny. That's the joke. Um, you have a tingle bottle, do you not? Uh, no, if you're not really a fan of it, do not worry about such things. A tingle bottle, it is sort of complicated, I suppose. No, no, do not get out of your way. No, really. I mean, it is really quite amusing. The tingle bottle, I mean, but no, really. I would not expect you to. Eve, po. Oh. Did I say the same thing? I mean, it's quite amusing, the tingle bottle, I mean, but no, really, I would not expect you to. Heave, ho! Oh. <laughs> These guys say different things than they did in the last game. That's funny. Is there anyone who can spin this thing for me? It's not me. What even is this? Is this anything? I think there's just a giant tingle head on top here. Yep, I'm pretty dang sure that's what it is. Yep, that's totally what it is. Fantastic, what an asshole tingle. Oh, Mr. Fairy, I've been longing to see you, sir. What should we play? What do you want to play? What? You're not here to play? Next time, bring me one of my favorites, a chart if I haven't seen yet. Please, sir, just bring me one, please. Goodbye, Mr. Fairy. Please come visit me on Tingle Tower again, where wonderful fairy magic makes this place spin round and round. Tingle Tower? Really? I thought this was Tingle Island or something. So, this guy actually does not have very much significance. Actually, he didn't have very much significance in the last game, and I doubt he'll, he he'll probably have even less in this game, because I know you don't have to have him read treasure charts as often as you did in the last game. I'm trying to be somewhat vague about it. Alright, where's that fish? Did he change its locations? Oh, that's a blue chew. I saw a sparkly sparkle over there, and I wasn't sure if that was a... I thought it was another bottle. Where's the fish? Oh, there he is, right there. It's so hard to see at night in thunderstorms. Alright, don't want to go too far of him. Meh. There's a bite for him. Never fear, guys. This is probably the last I will be visiting for a windfall. Uh huh. Uh huh. Tell me about Tingle Tower Island Place thing. <laughs> That's honestly why I probably like this game so much. It's just so much exploration. That's great. Tingle Island. Yeah, it is called Tingle Island. There's a Tingle Tower on a Tingle Island. Let me tell you a little something about that island over there, Small Fry. The guy who lives there is Tingle, but he won't grow up and act his age. He still dresses like a little kid. That is not normal. Still, from what I hear, he can decipher maps like nobody's business. This goes to show that you can judge a person by appearance alone, Fry. Of course, that the thing about Tingle, this Tingle guy, is that when, he, when it comes to deciphering fee, you'd be better be able to fork over some serious dope. Anyone who doesn't have a deep all won't be reading any maps, that's for sure. And that's all the info I've got to offer. If I want to hear it again, you have to throw some bait on the water for me. Sorry, but that's my pulse. Yeah. So yeah, good to know, he deciphers maps, and you may be wondering, what the heck, I have maps, can you do anything with those? You know, let's go on these, just so I can show you guys what happens. Oh, really? I guess it doesn't just flip you, um, 180 degrees, it just kind of messes you up. So, that's all those really do. Holy crap! <laughs> I didn't expect to turn the camera and see a shark all of a sudden. In the last game, these sharks are actually kind of glitchy, they would swim for- well, actually, exactly like this. They would keep swimming forward, and then they never come and try to attack you. It's weird. They do it sometimes, especially if it, like if you would stop or something, and then go. Well, see, even then, you're like you're just kind of he slowed down and waited for me. How lovely! 
It's like, follow me! I'll show you the way, even though it's dolphins. I don't know. Um, but yeah. You may be like thinking like, oh, I have treasure charts. Can't I show those to Tingle and he'll do something with them? But no, only very particular treasure charts. Or not even treasure charts, like special charts. Actually, you'll see. Yeah, the way the only way to avoid those guys really is by luck of them not hitting you. And if you jump over. I always just hit jump just in case. Ooh, I think I see a bottle over there. Whee! Asshole. Mm-hmm. Just grab this bottle. I think there's another bottle to the right there. Oh, I missed it. Great. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, there we go. Got that one. It's weird. Like, look how active this guy is all of a sudden. And he wasn't far. Whoa. What's that red thing on top of Beetle shit? What is that? What the heck? Oh, never mind. It just. Oh, it's his lantern. That's really cool. I don't think he had that in the last game either. All right, here we go. It's just as the postman told us. The pirate ship has stopped here to avoid drawing attention to the town. What do you mean? What? That is a bad place to stop to to avoid getting attention. I know not what they are researching, but they're if they're hoping to get their hands on Jabon's sacred gem. I doubt they will tell you anything directly if you were to ask them. Link, I think you should try to find out where the pirates are up to. What the pirates are up to, without them finding out about you. Okay. Alright. Oh man, I must get that magic ball. It's still raining and it's still nighttime. Although, uh, we are at Windfall Island at night. Which, I mean, uh, it's actually pretty easy to do that later on in the game. Um, but, I don't think we ever see raining here, so that's kind of pretty, that's pretty cool. Bay... You know, that's kind of spoilers too. I'm going to have to censor out that picture. Oh, great. Lots of editing. Yay. Wind Temple from Undigit. Hi there. Well, we know there's a Wind Temple in this game now, but... <laughs> uh, at least it gives you guys something to be excited. Oh, why did we park over here? To avoid drawing attention to the town folk. See, that makes sense because I'm underneath the cliff. Good luck to people finding out about that. Well, which, I mean, it would probably be still pretty easy to be honest, but it's still it's a lot more difficult than being parked right downtown. Like, seriously... Parking right here, you're like kind of you're not downtown, but over there, it's like let's go take a look at where these guys are parked in relation to everywhere else. You know what? Don't even grab those rupees. There's no point. No point at all. Let's go over this way. See exactly where these guys are. They're parked right here. It's like this is downtown. Why would they park there? That makes absolutely no sense to me at all. I don't get it. I mean, from here, this building blocks them, but seriously. Anyone walking down these steps? Holy crap, there's a giant pirate ship over here. <laughs> uh, hmm. Well, everything seems deserted. Where is everybody? I actually don't know where everyone is. Maybe in the cafe? Let's go take a look. Up this book. It's reading rainbow. It'd be cool if like the entire town was gathered in here. Oh, oh, there is a lot of people in here. Cool. I don't think I've ever seen this cutscene before. And by everybody, I mean there's like four people, but still, that's a lot more for- Oh, they're all like the big, chunky guys too. I don't know. Have you seen this guy yet? It's true. 100% true. I've seen it. Myself, a stern-looking pirate ship sailing full speed towards this little town. I swear on the sea. <laughs> oh, this girl must be pretty happy. Her coffee shop's booming. The tree of the pirates have invaded our peaceful little islands? That's terrible news. What am I supposed to do if they come to my coffee house and start raising a ruckus? I don't know if I've come to this place yet or not. I don't think I did. Is that- Oh, look. If you look through the window, it's not raining. Oh, oh, yeah, but it is thunder. Thunder lightning. <laughs> now, let's see. Just for a moment, that pirates actually did come ashore. Ooh, they want the peaceful little village like this. Tell me that, laddie. I do not know about, like, the bomb shop over there. That's one thing I could think of. It's probably other things. Ah, nothing's better than a cup of refreshment at your local cafe after a long day's work. Absolutely nothing. I'm telling you, those pirates just... Or pirates were just looking for a little relaxation. You don't find cafes on the high seas. Probably true. What's this guy say? He's like, why are you poking your head? Have you heard? The pirates are on the way to the island right now. Well, that's what they say. Anyway, me, I don't believe it. Why are these people all stupid? <laughs> Maybe they're all just inside. Well, what the heck? I'm like stuck there. Maybe this, maybe this all came inside before they got here or something. I don't know. Let's see if we can find where other people are. It's really weird to me. It's like, where could people possibly be hiding? There's not many places too high, to be honest. Like, are there people in here, maybe? Let's take a look. 
I'm really curious because I've never really explored this town. No, no one's really in here. Ow. Oh, 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 speaking of which, there is a second treasure chart I can get from this guy that I do, that I get if I get under, or beat the game in under 20 shots. Um, I was here before and I got the first treasure chart and you're like, huh? I thought you had to beat this game in under 20 shots. Oh, maybe you just get rupees if you do that. But no, you do actually, oh, this guy's still outside. Fine night, isn't it? A little rain once in a while isn't bad. Oh, you know what? I might know where everyone is. I think I've actually missed getting wet. Bros. <laughs> stupid. Oh, there's another guy right there as well. Oh, there's the fish. Did I, did I see the fish? I think I saw the fish. I think I saw the fish. Can I get to there from here? I think I can. Oh, there's another bottle over there. This beetle ship docked. I just saw some strangers here in town. They went over toward the bomb shop. Why would they be going there? The bomb shop, hey? Oh, I thought he was like maybe staring at the bomb shop. But no, where are you staring at? The moon? It's either the clouds or the moon. Remember that guy for later. Everyone inside the school here. All the students in here. Is this where students go at night? Is this like night school? Is that why all the kids are always outside during the day? Let's take a look. Oh, no. They're not here. But this is... What terrible weather we have today. Little boys should not be wandering around this time. My no. Is there anything else? Oh, no. Okay. Well, fantastic. What's this? Words of joy. Be deep and read aloud and proud. Joy is hidden in places around the world. You must widen your eyes and search for it. The first joy you find earns you a present. With 20, you become a joy steward. With 40, you'll find a map to a great treasure. Aren't all these things joyous? M my, me, you, we, we'll all be full of joy. Well, I can't imagine what that could possibly mean. <laughs> and there's these pictures over here. Are that, are those are actually the students. Ooh, it's a, is this, can we read this one? No. Of course we can't. Is that rotating? How the heck? <laughs> Don't know how that's happening, but okay then. Oh man, we're needing 20 minutes. I do want to make progress. But at the same time, I just want to explore, man. This is the only time. This is like a timed event. Like once once we deactivate this event or we continue on the story, that's pretty much it. We will never see this place again in thunderstorm and lightning with NPCs in this the spot they're in right now. I think this is where everyone is in here. Oh, maybe not. We do see the person we bought the the thingamabob from the sale. Dear me, there's a terrible storm raging this evening. This night seems very unsettled somehow. So you just this is where you come at night. This is your house. At <laughs> How do I break the pot? Can you help me? Ha ha ha! He's not paying attention. He must be. Ah! Oh, I was so excited. I didn't think he was there. I don't think he'd hear me. Thought maybe he's a bit more concerned about pirates potentially coming to raid his house and take all of his precious pots from him. But no, <laughs> not at all. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I have so much money. I don't care. I really don't care, dude. I'll get that money like freaking in ten seconds flat. Swindled, right. I don't know what he said about swindling, but I'll take it. Like Tyson in the bathroom. I don't think anyone's in this place. The only other place I can think people would be is in the upstairs. Let's go check that out. One second. Alright, so we're going to the rich guy's house right now, except for the second floor, which is, it's really weird how it's such a roundabout way to get to the second floor of his house, but it seems so unnatural when, like, Nintendo forgot to put this in and, like, oh, oh yeah, we had to put an entrance to this guy's house. Yeah, no one's up here. However, there is a chest here I haven't, I didn't get. It was one of those things I got my first playthrough, or my first attempt at let's playing this, or second or something, but I never got a chance to get it again, because I just forgot about it, because <laughs> I forgot what I had done and what I hadn't done. But yeah, I've come over here, we got 20 rupees, yay! Except that I can only hold 10 of them. Like we stand on this podium, we will be all important and stuff. This place actually does come pretty important later on, but for now, nothing. Alright, so the bomb shop, hey? Hmm. Let's go over there now. They've checked out. I don't know where the heck everyone is. I guess they're just, they just disappeared. They're just gone. That's pretty cool to see Beetle's boat docked here. It's like you never see anyone's boat docked besides my own over here. Alright, fine, bottle. What do you want? Please don't be spoilers. I like Amiibo.
Bob won Windfall as well. I mean, at least it's not spoilers. <laughs> Pretty stupid, at least it's not spoilers. What's that? Once again, of course, I don't have my freaking um, telemoscope on me. That is weird. It looks like a jar or something. It's not a jar. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, I already have our 500 rupees. We're closed already, so scram now. Interesting. Hearts are at the bomb shop. Well, I mean, it makes sense. Since we're in a cave that no one has access to. And... Oh, look, there's another bottle out there. I'm not swimming through that one. Screw that. This, this should, like, come to the shore slowly, but of course not. I will stock down whoever is reading this. Alrighty then. Um, I guess we're gonna have to find another way into the bomb shop. Since that didn't even sound like the guy's voice that was in here before, but he was grumpy. Oh, the light is on. Well, I was gonna say, so that does mean there's people in there, but you know, that's kind of obvious. Unless there's another talking door. Ho ho ho. I don't ever think of that. Hmm, interesting. <gasps> no! Dang it. <laughs> you could actually sneak along that edge, but I. Clearly failed at it pretty badly. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed. Actually, you know what? Let's not end it quite yet. Let's at least figure out what we're going to be doing. How we're going to be sneaking into this place. Actually, I'm pretty sure. Can we not? How? What? I see the siddle. There we go. There we go. i got to pull another Forsaken Fortress. Sleep behind. This almost feels like you're not supposed to do this. Like, this is like some kind of. Oops, Nintendo forgot to take this out of the game. They didn't place the house correctly on the ground, but they did. Oh boy, don't fall off, please. Hmm. Yeah. You definitely tell we're supposed to get back here because of these. Uh. How do we get inside? There's no back door. Oh, good lord! Shut up, phone! I swore I turned that off before I started recording. Oh! <gasps> Dun dun dun! Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we'll invade the bomb shop and see what the heck is going on. Bye bye!